Hello guys, welcome to the clap tutorial. This is the sound what we're going to create. So this is the clap. It is coming from operator. This is the patch, but I also added it to, uh, onto a kick drum to sound really fat and cool. This clap is also acting like a transient for the for the kick drum. What I did here is um, I only changed the decay time. I made it longer to behave as a kick, as a clap and shorter as a transient. So as you can hear, this is a transient for the kick because the decay time here is uh, short, but here it is long. So let's jump into it and try to recreate it from scratch. First, let's use um, an instrument track because I like to have every layer and every uh, part of the kick drum uh, at the same time and at the same place and uh, I will use the same uh, MIDI file, a MIDI note, which will be uh, E0 for this. Okay, so let's, um, where is it, operator, let's drop an operator. And uh, this will be the kick drum, but for that purpose I used um, a pitch, a MIDI pitch, and I boosted it to Seven, 17 semitones. So right now this is only a simple sine wave. Uh, but the most essential part here is to play with the pitch envelopes. So pull up the knob, the pitch envelope knob. And these are the common settings what, what I what always or maybe usually uh, use. The initial is 48. Uh, the peak is 24 and the sustain is minus 12 and also the end is minus 12 so the attack time should be 0 0.0 it is almost cool but let's set the decay time to 206 Let's loop it, it will be easier to fine tune. That's cool, but let's use an EQ and filter out the, the middle frequency and it will be about 200 Hertz. Let's cut it with about eight decibels and push up the Q. It sounds a lot better now. Okay, so basically this is the, the kick drum, but I also use the compression. And push up the ratio about three pull down the, the threshold about 16 and I use the release and the attack time at the same place. Let's drop a, li a limiter and what we also need is a delay. Why? Because I don't want to um, uh, start, I don't want the kick drum to start at the same time where the transient starts because I want it to delay it. I mean, first the transient comes, and then after after it, the kick drum comes in a very after a very short period of time. So uh, let's link it, which will mean you will have only one delay, um, and set the time to five milliseconds and push up the dry because we don't want any uh, dry signal go out, only the wet, which is delayed, the delayed kick drum. So. It won't cause any effect here, but it will be cool. And well, this was only the tummy. 
Tommy. Okay, let's drop an operator here again um, as another chain. <coughs> and this time uh, we will use a simple sine wave and set the, ratio, uh, the course about 0.45. Um, the second operator will be a saw 6 and push up the course to 10 and push up the level to the maximum. The third uh, operator will be a, a noise looped, push up the course to 29 and the level to around minus 11. The fourth operator will be another sine wave, but it will be the basic setting, so we don't need to change anything except the phase. Set it to 15. Oh, and also we need to set the phase here, which will be 24, and also on the new noise loop to 20. So this will be the operators and what we also need to do, what I also had, is um, fine-tune the filter. Um, let's filter it now, let's uh, see how it sounds now. It's almost cool, but, le but we ne still need to use the filter because I also... Uh, sorry. Because I also used um, a filter envelope, uh, set the attack time to about 90 milliseconds. This will be cool now, but the envelope needs to be pushed up to 29, around, 10, or around 30 percent. It's a lot more harsh now. I also used a slight pitch envelope also, which is very, very slight, because um, I pushed up the initial and uh, I used only a very very slight amount of decay about 123 just a very short amount I also added some other effects because um, it will need to be filtered out the, high, the lower frequencies need to be filtered out at around 600 Hertz 650 maybe, but only um, the only the transient don't filter out the tummy's uh, bottom end. It sounds a lot better now. I also use an overdrive. At about 30% of drive. This will be cool. Um, and I also use the field, uh, phaser, sorry, uh, at about 1,240 uh, 1, um, hertz. But I use it only on the transient. We will automate the drive at knob later. And I also use the saturator at the end of this chain. Which will be the basic settings. I think this, this clap is a little loud, so let's make it a little quieter. Okay, so our only job here now is to make a sequence. This is cool, but we want to make um, the snare to act like a transient. So let's click on the decay time of the operator one envelope and just pull it down until you are satisfied with the sound.
So what we also need to do is to automate the dry wet knob because I wanted to make it full wet when the transient acts as a transient, not a cap. It is also cool. I think it's it is very very um, fine now. But we will also need to EQ the whole stuff. So just a very short amount of cut at around 200 hertz here. Or maybe 300 will be cool. And um, let's filter out that high frequency, which is a little kind of resonance sound for me. And maybe the high end also. Okay, so I think this is cool now. Let's listen it back in context. I'm copying these kicks and snares and claps. And let's see it. And I always love to see what I'm doing, so I am adding this Signal Analyzer plugin. Okay, so this is cool. Now you know how to make your own clap sounds. Just change these settings and you will have very, very different clap sounds. So this was Dan Larson again and see you next time, guys. Bye bye.